Hey YouTubers and RV fans, today on Paddy Wagon Travels, we're going to talk about your sewer and dumping. Yeah, not a not a pretty topic. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so for some of you, you already know that um, I kind of lay over in um, Louisiana at my mom's house um, when I'm in between traveling places. So one of the challenges I have is that the sewer at her house, the clean out pump, the clean out station at her house is clear on the other side of the house. So uh, I've tried a number of different solutions. Um, none of them have worked to you know be able to dump the tank. So. What I have to do is every two weeks is I break camp and I pack up the RV and I go to uh, an RV park and I spend $15 and I dump. And that works out fine except for it is a pain in the neck. So now that I'm in the Mallard uh, in the travel trailer, um, I'm a little bit more flexible to break camp and hook up and go. But what I have, um, well, what... What I discovered is that there is a system that I can use that allows me to dump the tanks um, with an extended hose. So I'm gonna show it to you, but it's called the sewer solution. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and link this um, in the description under my Amazon affiliate page. I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you're interested in getting a sewer solution, um, which I encourage you to do if you find yourself in the same situation I'm in, then you can just click on that and I do get um, credit for that. So as, a, as an Amazon affiliate, it doesn't change your price, but I do get credit and it helps to support the channel. So, all right, with that said, um, I was really kind of in the market to figure out something that I could use to dump without having to break camp. And when I first started doing my searches, um, I saw these emaciators, which I thought, well, you know, I really don't want to have to go through and hook up an emaciator and then find, figure out how to power it up and then buy the tubing. And, and these systems cost, you know, inwards or upwards of over 200 and some dollars. And I'm like, you know, there's got to be something that's a little simpler than that. And I remembered, I don't know, about a year ago, uh, watching a video on some system that used the water jet as the emaciator uh, in conjunction with Happy Camper, which is a chemical solution that helps to break down um, you know, solid waste products. So I actually didn't remember the name of it, but I, I did remember that it was sewer something. So I started doing a search and all of a sudden on YouTube, I found sewer solution. And that is the name of the product that I'm going to talk about today. Now I have no affiliation with sewer solution. I'm not getting anything. I didn't, I had to buy the sewer solution myself. So, um, there's nothing for me there, but I just thought it was an innovative way for RVers who may be stopped at their family's house or boondocking somewhere uh, where there is a sewer, but it's uh, a distance away. Um, this system really, really helps me. So let me just give you a, a basic rundown, then we'll go outside and I'll, I'll show you the system. Uh, first of all, the um, sewer solution itself has an adapted um, kit that um, uh, screws onto your sewer tank. Um, after you take the cap off and it uses um, water pressure at a 15 PSI to emaciate any kind of de um, waste that may be solid and it breaks it up into chunks and actually it breaks it up it liquefies it pretty much and allows it allows it to go through a small tube to the sewer now the challenge for me was that um, the system itself comes with the emaciator connection it comes with a backflow preventer for your hose and it also comes with 10 feet of hose to the sewer. Well, that wasn't enough. So I ended up buying two 25 feet um, uh, hoses to you know, get me to where I wanted until I realized I was still 30 feet um, short. So I went to Lowe's and I bought 30 feet of PVC pipe. 
and some connectors and voila um, was able to get to the um, clean out per pretty good now the clean outs about two inches above the ground so as a result uh, I was concerned that you know we're going against gravity um, but when the water pressure um, is is placed in a situation where the pressure is actually going down the hose what it does is it creates a vortex and um, puts a lot of pressure on that water and that water travels very quickly through the hose and it literally goes up to two inches i had a beautiful um, flow coming out of the hose um, to the clean out um, so it was very it was very well um, done it looks good it there's no leaks and the best part of it is that I don't have to break camp to go to dump my tanks so let me show you this system a little bit one of the things I really like about the mallard is that uh, it sits up a little bit higher than the class C does so as a result what I've got is a little bit of a higher um, playing field here but this is my cleanup valve here and I do all this with one hand, I think. I think I'm just going to set the camera. Okay. There we go. All right, so you just take the top off, and really, here is the system in itself. You've got the water pressurized cap. I bought this um, clear cap because I wanted to be able to see when the tank was clean. You basically put it on nice and snug, and you've got your backflow preventer here. Got your backflow preventer there and then you've got your water pressure here your water pressurized valves here and i don't know if you can see that or not but that puts 15 psi into the system and then from here you're basically all the way and i'll show you how long this hose is in just a minute but let me go ahead and hook up the um the the um the garden hose hang on All right, so what we're gonna do here is I've got the backflow preventer on the garden hose already, and please don't use your water drinking hose. Even though this is a backflow preventer, you just don't wanna risk any kind of contamination. And all you gotta do is just hook it in here and then turn on the water. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, we don't wanna do it like that. You can see here that the PSI's 15 PSI is shooting up into the um, up into the tank, but then you can move it right here, and what happens is it sets the inflow so that it actually starts to come down the tubing, but the pressure uh, breaks up any kind of formed waste, which is actually really pretty cool. Um, so let me show you what it looks like. Uh, when you, because I've already dumped the tank, so I'm not going to show you that. But let me just show you what it looks like as we go down the system. You can see how long this thing is too. Okay, this is how long I've got this tubing going, and it's um, watertight, nice and uh, well connected. But it flows all the way down here. And there you can see I have it connected to the PVC piping which is about 30 feet. All right. Now I don't have this hooked up because it's not running, but I turned it off. But this actually connects here, which goes into the clean out. And there's a tremendous amount of pressure that uh, keeps it all flowing and makes it nice and sanitary and clean. But it's a pretty little setup and it works really, really good. There we go. Okay, so really the sewer solution has been the solution for me in terms of being able to dump my tanks um, every couple of weeks without having to break camp and hook up the camper and take it to the RV park. Uh, you know, everybody's situation is different. Um, you know, you may be able to buy the sewer solution and one extension hose and be right at your clean out. 
um, wherever your you know camping or wherever your RV is being stationary and it will work really well one of the things they said to do also is to purchase um, the happy camper um, happy camper it's an organic odor free tank treatment and they said that um, sewer solution in connection with happy camper um, really helps a great deal because happy camper is organic it supposedly breaks down any kind of solid waste and liquefies it it eliminates odors um, it's biodegradable it's good for your septic tanks in your houses and it's also good for your rv it's one scoop for 40 gallons but i have to tell you it's pretty expensive yeah this little this little one here let's see it's going to give me 18 treatments and i don't even know how many ounces it is or whatever it is here but um, this costs like $22. So I'm gonna definitely use this sparingly. But it does say um, no formaldehyde, biodegradable, will liquefy waste, no odor when dumping, uh, environmentally friendly, good for septic tanks, most household tissue is okay, cleans and inhibits sludge or crystallized buildup. And it doesn't just mask odors, it eliminates them. So that's Happy Camper, and this will be um, also linked in the description uh, where you can get this from Amazon as well if you decide that you wanna purchase that so um, for me this has been a good solution remember it's the sewer solution you can get it on Amazon click on the link below and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this gives you some good information uh, if you're gonna get out there and you're gonna start camping or boondocking at a friend's house um, I looked forward to seeing your comments um, in uh, below and I hope you enjoyed the video thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and I will see you on the road